When it comes to choosing the company to photograph your wedding day, there's lots of questions you should ask before signing on the dotted line. And here to help sort it all out are Tara and Brooke Sachs from Sachs Photography in West Seneca. Welcome to the program, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. You know, I've known your dad for nearly 25 years, and it's great to see the second generation so involved in the family business. Tara, you say brides and grooms should meet with the actual photographer that's going to be documenting the wedding. Why is this important? It's very important because meeting with the photographer, they really get to, to see the personality of the bride and groom before their special day, their likes, their dislikes. And it's also really important to see their work, the real photographer's sample albums showcasing what they have to offer. Brooke, give me another piece of advice. It's really important to ask the photographer you're interested in if they have backup photographers, if the need arises on your wedding day. At Sax Photography, we have five photographers on our staff, but we only do three events per day, so we have two backup photographers if needed. And besides those main five photographers that we do have, we also have photojournalistic, or known as second photographers, and those are really important for your day as well. They catch the candas and the small detail moments of your day, and make sure that they're real photographers and not just someone that's on a date with the main photographer or just a high school student using their point-and-shoot camera. Make sure that they're using top-of-the-line equipment as well to make sure that you have the quality shots from your day. Good advice, Tara. And Brooke? The photos have been taken, the day is done. What's a reasonable time frame that a bride should be able to expect her finished album? That's something you should definitely discuss with your photographer before your wedding day. You should have your images the Monday after your wedding day or soon after you return home from your honeymoon. And the album is a little bit different. It's more time consuming. We create one of a kind albums for bride and grooms. So as soon as the bride and groom chooses their photographs, we can get the ball rolling. So it seems that communicating with your photographer in advance of your wedding is so important. Tara, give me one more piece of advice. If I had one more piece of advice, it, it would be about the cash terms that the photography studio has. I would urge bride and grooms to be wary of studios that are on a cash-only basis, that don't offer credit card or personal check, because they may not have a DBA or a proper license to operate in New York State. So I would be wary about that and, and their cash terms. Another great tip, Tara. And thanks, Brooke, for shedding some light on a very important topic. Thank you thanks, for Mike. Having us. Questions you should be asking your photographer before signing on the dotted line. Back to you, Ben.